If you are using a Samsung device, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to completely transform your Samsung home screen with these insane 3D icons. And the best part? We are not using Nova Launcher and we aren't downloading any sketchy third-party icon packs. This is the official way to get 3D icons using Samsung's own GoodLock app. It's clean, it's stable, and it looks incredible. Let's jump right into the tutorial. First things first, open up the GoodLock app on your phone. If you don't have it, grab it from the Galaxy Store. Once you're in, look for the Theme Park module. A quick pro tip here, make sure your Theme Park module is fully updated to the latest version to avoid any bugs. If it's good to go, tap to open it. Now navigate to the icon section at the bottom and tap on Create New. This brings you to the editor. Step one is choosing your base. For this 3D look, the shape matters. I'm gonna select the square shape because I think it renders the 3D edges the best, but you can choose whatever fits your vibe. Now for the secret sauce, the effects. Tap on the effects tab. You'll see a bunch of options here like glass, gradient, and shadow. Ignore those for now. You wanna select emboss. As soon as you click emboss, you'll see the icon pop. You should see four sliders or options to tweak the effect. This is where you get to be creative. Play around with these sliders. Changing these will adjust the lighting angle, the depth of the shadow, and the intensity of the 3D pop. Tweak them until it suits your specific taste. Once you are happy with how it looks, go to the top right corner and tap the Download Save icon. Give your new icon pack a cool name. Let's call this one New 3D and hit OK. It will take a few seconds to install and add it to your list. Once that's done, Simply select your new pack from the list and hit apply. And just like that, look at the difference. You now have fully custom system-wide 3D icons. It gives the phone such a premium tactile feel and again, no third-party launchers required. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please drop a like on the video. It really helps the channel. And subscribe for more Samsung customization tips just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.